Hey guys, it is Friday at the Breakfast Club with Wayne Watley. And I am actually doing this video um, and I'm tagging my uh, fellow Breakfast Clubbers uh, to uh, do the same thing. I would like to know 10 random facts about you. They can be all flattering things, embarrassing, whatever you want. I kind of try to do a mix in my in mine, but do whatever. But I'd really like to uh, have a point of reference for anybody who wants to know a little bit more about us, so they can watch our ten random facts video. So I'm I'm tagging everyone. Obviously, you can't twist their arms to do it, but uh, I'd really like to see a uh, ten random facts videos about about you um, throughout this this coming week, if that's possible. Um, if you have something else more pressing, I understand, but I'd really love to see one over the next week or two, if possible. Anyway, let's get to it. Number one, I have a couple of published and recorded songs. Now, uh, these are all, uh, Christian contemporary songs, and, um, I am not the one recording them, um, so this guy Pierre is recording this one. Here's a little sample of it. God, the King of Grace, it's you I praise. It's you I praise. It's you I Anyway, it's, uh, you know, just contemporary Christian music. So, got a couple songs like that published and recorded by people. Pretty cool. I'm in a band right now, and we're actually in the middle of writing songs, and we're going to record. Um, but it's not the same style as what you hear here. Um, the funny thing is, the band I'm in now started out as a praise and worship band, back whenever I was a praise and worship leader. We've kind of morphed into this not really re a religious band, just doing whatever. That's kind of where we are. We're called Over the Mountain Top. Anyway, number two. I definitely suffer from thalassophobia. That's the fear of the deep sea, the ocean, large bodies of water. I mean, scares the mess out of me. I don't even like going to beaches. I don't want to have contact with any of the sea creatures. I don't really like salt water. I um, don't believe humans were made to to be in the water. I know it's 70% of this planet, but um, there's a good reason why most of it hasn't been explored. I mean, there is some crazy stuff in, in the water and um, in the deep sea. There's some scary stuff down there. Um, you could drown. I just really do not like being in the sea. I mean, if I were on a secure boat, I'd be okay, I guess. But, you know, even the Titanic ended up hitting an iceberg. I'd prefer to fly somewhere. I know there's not ration, there's no rationale to that because if you're flying over a sea and you crash, you're going to crash into a sea. But fears are not really meant to be logical. But... I definitely suffer from thalassophobia. Number three. I was an Elvis impersonator from 7th through 11th grade. Here's a little clip of me in my 8th grade talent show when I was 13 years old back in 1994. Um, I had to take out an old VHS and record it on my TV because I didn't know how to convert it digitally. So. Here's a little uh, sample of it, so check it out. Number four, I have very little depth perception. Pushing a button can take a long time for me because I'm either I either feel like I should have already pushed it or I've pushed it sooner. I just, you know, I'm guessing. I, I've got a problem with my vision 
and I don't have a lot of depth of perception. I can legally drive, though. I've, I've kind of learned on a lot of things, but when it comes to having to physically have contact with something, it takes me a minute to find it, even if it's right there in front of me. And the closer it is, it seems like the harder it is for me to tell. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, number five. I got in one fight um, my whole life when I was a freshman in high school. And um, that's all it took for me to become a pacifist. Um, my freshman year, I was um, out in the below the bleachers and uh, a couple of guys tried to pick me up and throw me and lock me into the women's bathroom. And so we got, I got in a fight with the instigator and I'm crying like a bitch because I was afraid that I was going to hurt the other guy who was trying to lock me in the women's bathroom. We both got in a hit, uh, but I was actually more concerned about him than I was myself, even after I felt his punch to my face and uh, he felt my punch to his face. We got detention that day because of how much I was crying. I think the principal felt sorry for me. Um, but anyway, that was the last fight I got into, and that was my freshman year of high school back in 95 or something like that. Number six, I have facial hair for a lot of different reasons, but uh, one of the main reasons is because I think I look like Bobby from King of the Hill uh, with a clean shaved face. Really do not like the look. And my wife doesn't like a clean shaved face on me either. And she hasn't told me this, but she probably thinks I also look like Bobby from King of the Hill, but whatever. Number seven, although I have an above average IQ and uh, I was in honors classes throughout college and uh, on the dean's list every semester, um, I did end up dropping out of college uh, at one point um, because I could not pass Algebra 101. I was in honors, uh, all these honors classes, classes, but I had to take remedial math 98, 99, and whatever, I had to take three remedial classes, I think 97, 98, 99, and then I ended up taking uh, Algebra 101, and I didn't want uh, my grade point average to go down, so I got a W in that class because it would have been an F. So I dropped out and ended up going to Bible college where you don't have to take math. So anyway, that's that. Number eight, my favorite type of music now is swing and Dixieland jazz. Um, I also, I prefer the archaic recording quality from the original era more than I do uh, the, re, uh, the re-digitalized or whatever versions they have whenever they remaster them. It's just, for me, to me, there's a charm in uh, the old 100-year-old recordings. Um, funny thing is, when I was in high school, I was all about that heavy metal and I still like it, but I'm really into to old old jazz. I do like bebop and hard bop and um, and cool jazz, West Coast jazz. I love all that stuff too. Um, I'm, only type of jazz I really don't like probably is that stuff that's just very. I don't even know. I guess you just call it kind of avant-garde. Um, Some of time it's not even really music. It's a lot of noise kind of put together. Um, and, I mean, they would say that. That's not just a grumpy old man in me saying that. But uh, I love jazz music. It's my it's my music that, uh, that I really enjoy playing and listening to the most. Number nine. Never watched Fast and Furious, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. And, honestly, I have no desire to. I've started watching Lord of the Rings, and it was so boring. And it just seems like that's just a lot of movies to have to watch in order to catch up. And I have no desire to sit through that many movies um, in a row or, or whatever, or binge on those. or I, They just don't even look very interesting to me. And finally, number 10, I met my wife on ChristianMingle.com. That's all I've got to say about that. Anyway, those are my top 10, just random facts. I'd love to hear yours. Next up is Josh with ZZZ Giant Awake. Josh, I hope that I can hear 10 facts about you. Peace out.